Barakatah Yahweh, Barakatah Yahweh Shai. All praises, honor, and glory goes to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the Heavenly Father's true name in ancient Hebrew. And Yahweh Shai is the name of His only begotten Son, the Savior, the Deliverer of the nation of Israel, starting with the elect. Peace be upon the house of David, by Ofta will die, which is the elect, the men, women, and children that are chosen to be the first fruits of the kingdom of heaven, which is the kingdom of Israel. All right, um, just wanted to do a, you know, another addition to the comfort ye one another with these words. Um, this one is going to be on the um, topic of it's, um, there's never there's never too much. All right, you know there's there's never enough that 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 the Lord is going to give you. Okay, you know um, got it right here. The actual title is going to be never more than your never more than your limit. All right, and that's going to come from. Um, 1 Corinthians, the 10th chapter, the 13th verse, it says, There has no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But the Most High is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will with the temptation also make it make a way to you escape, that ye may be able to bear it. All right, so we got to understand that the Heavenly Father, you know, the way that he tries us, you know, tests our, um, tries our faith is by adversity. It's by, you know, going through, um, you know, afflictions. And um, the scripture says right here that even though we're going to go through these things, it's going to never be more than what we are, are able to bear. And we have to have faith and believe that even though we're going to go through these things, that the Most High is going to actually allow us to get through it. All right. That's... um. That's actually having trust in the Most High, all right? That's actually believing that, you know, all things are possible with him, you know? So I'm going to read that again. It says, <clears throat> there has no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. So, you know, we going all, we're all going to catch hell. And even though we might go through different things, um, it's all similar, you know, uh, in the grand scheme of it. You know, it's all going to be similar because that's why the scripture says that there is nothing that is such that is not common to man. You know, so one brother might go through, you know, uh, financial. OK, another brother might go through, you know, uh, a physical uh, temptation. Another brother might go through, you know, uh, not having a woman. And another brother might not go might go through by uh, having a woman. All right. But just know that there's somebody else that's going through what you're going through also. All right, so it says, Shalak, yeah. and just um, Shalak, I just lost it real quick. Bear with me. It says, uh, <clears throat> But the Most High is faithful, who will not suffer you to be able to be tempted above that you are able. That Shalak. But the Most High is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able. So the Most High, yeah, he's going to put you through stuff, but he's not going to suffer you to go through something that you can't get through. All right. You know, and this is why when you go to, um, when you go to, uh, second Corinthians, I believe it is. When you go to second Corinthians, uh, 12th chapter. The eighth verse it says this is um this is paul speaking he says for this thing i besought the lord thrice that it might depart from me so paul was going through something you know he was going through a temptation you know a trial an affliction that he kept you know seeking he, he sought the lord three times for for this uh temptation for this affliction to you know depart from him okay so because Paul, in his mind, he thought, you know, damn, I can't take it. You know, Paul and Paul, you know, because the scripture says, Yahweh Shai said that the flesh is, uh, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. So, you know, our flesh might believe, might make us think that, yo, we can't take this, you know. Our flesh might make us believe that, you know, uh, I, I, I can't stay, I can't stay in this position, you know, in this financial uh, position I'm in. Or it might say, you know. You know, I, I can't stay not having a woman, you know? Or your flesh might say, yo, this woman that I got, man, she a fucking demon, you know? I, I can't stay with her, you know? 
But you got to remember that the Lord put you in all these situations to 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 test your your faith, man. All right, you might be having a, a baby mother, baby mama drama, and you might have children that you got to take care of. But because she giving you hell, you just feel like yo, man, fuck it, I'm just not even gonna just deal with her or deal with the children. That's your flesh, man. All right, and then when you go into you know even more spiritual things, all right, going out there on highways and byways, you know when it's cold or whatever. You might think like, oh, I can't do it, you know? <laughs> you might actually try to leave, you know, want to leave camp, all right? But you can't leave that battlefield, man. You got to you gotta put under subjection your members, man. Starting first, of, first and foremost with your mind, all right? You got to have a stern mind in this thing. So Paul said what? For this thing I besought the Lord thrice that it might depart from me. And he said unto me, him being Yahweh Shai, my grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Okay? So this is Yahweh Shai, man. Yahweh Shai told Paul, like, look, the, the grace that I have on your life, all right, because you are called to do this ministry, you are called to be, you know, a prophet, all right? I, I sanctified you from the womb. The grace that I have for thee is sufficient for thee, man. All right? And it says, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. So what I gave you, the, the, the hell that you're catching, I gave you enough, I gave you enough spirit, I gave you enough fight in you for you to overcome this hell, all right? And we, as being uh, Lord willing, the men of the Lord, we got to believe that Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, has given us that, that strength, man, all right? And we got to, you know, continue to feed that strength by way of keep on pushing, man, by keep on striving, by keep on going, all right? You got to understand that you're, it's never... It's never more than your limit, all right? It's never, it's going to be, it's never going to be more than what you could take, even though it might feel like it is, even though it might feel like, yo, like, damn, like, I'm, I'm at a wit's end. We got to remember that the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, in the name of His Son, is faithful to, to keep on, to keep us pushing, to keep us going, to allowing us to endure all the way into the end, all right? So, let me get the next scripture. This is um, Romans chapter 8, verse uh, 28, one of my favorite scriptures. It says, And we know that all things work together for the good to them that love the Most High, to them who are called according to His purpose. So right there, now, when, when, we, when we read this, we got to understand that the scripture says that everything is going to work to our good, man. All right? All the all the trials, all the the hell, all the uh, the the pain, the suffering, the, the crying, the sorrow, all right, the the hungry, you know, going hungry for a day, or you know, hey, the hour of temptation, okay, Jacob's trouble, everything that we're gonna go through is gonna work to work together for our good, man, all right, it's gonna work together for our for the elect's good. It says to to them who are called according to his purpose. All right, so we know that we are called. We don't know if we are chosen, but if we keep on striving, if we keep on enduring, then we, Lord willing, will be that chosen. But we know that right here, the scripture says that everything is going to work together for our good. So, with that in mind, we going we have to understand and know that no matter what we go through, at the end of the day, the Lord got us, man. All right, the heavenly Father Yahweh, in the name of His Son, is faithful. All right, David said, "What? I'm I'm I was young and now I'm old." Okay, but I've never seen a righteous forsaken or his seed begging for bread. All right, the Lord said we're gonna go through trials, we're gonna go through affliction. That's not that we're gonna we're gonna we're going to suffer. All right, but with that suffering is gonna come perfection. All right, get this. This is um First Thessalonians, <clears throat> First Thessalonians three and two. It says, and sent to and sent to uh, Tim uh, Timotheus, our brethren and minister of the Most High, and our fellow laborer in the gospel of Hamashiach to establish you and to comfort you, to comfort you concerning your faith, that no man should be moved by these afflictions, for yourselves know that we are appoint appointed thereunto. All right, so you're not supposed to be moved by your afflictions, man. You're not supposed to be offended. All right, the Lord said that, blessed is he that is not offended in me. All right, you're not supposed to be weak-minded, okay? The Lord said, "What? Gird up your loins like a man." 
all right go to the loins of your mind all right that's in uh first peter is the uh, first chapter i believe or it might be second peter is the first chapter but you're supposed to gird up the loins of your mind also so you are you you have to understand we have to understand that the scripture says right here that we're not supposed to be moved by any of our afflictions man because we are what appointed thereunto all right the scripture says that all those that come to serve yahweh shai shall suffer all right because we're not of this world we're not from we're not we are going to contrast we're going the opposite way of of this world so of course it's going to be friction of course it's going to be uh toils and trials all right but when we understand that the lord got us when we understand that the lord ain't going to uh, suffer us to be destroyed all right and even if the lord and even if we die in Yahweh Shai, guess what? He got he got an answer for that too. All right, he got an answer for for that too. That's gonna be an honorable death, man. And and just like how Job said, that we must what? Um, scripture says, uh, uh, Shalaki, it just slipped my mind that uh, even though he slayed me, though he slayed me, yet shall I maintain my trust in him. All right, so we got to trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai all the way up until you know our final our final breath. All right, that's the that's the trust, that's the faith that the Lord wants to see, man. Just like how Yahweh Shai had it in Yahweh, that's the that's what we gotta have. All right, the 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 um all the all the apostles and prophets they had that same trust in the Lord, man. All right, let me see if I, I got that scripture. Yeah, James, James chapter five verse ten. All right, because we have we have uh <clears throat> we have um examples, man. All right, we have examples in the scriptures. And we also have examples from the man who taught us that we have to just keep on pushing, keep on trusting in the Lord throughout throughout all of our troubles. Why, why do you think Paul always spoke about the afflictions that he that he went through? You know, the being shipwrecked, the being you know uh, thrice beaten, okay, uh, uh, you know, being stoned. He, he he spoke about all that just to show you know that even though we're gonna go through stuff. That the Lord is also going to deliver us out of everything that we go through. Okay? So let me see if I can get this uh, scripture real quick. It's uh, James chapter 5 verse 10. It says, Take my brethren, the prophets, who have spoken in the name of the Lord for an example of suffering and of patience. All right? So take our brethren, the prophets, all right? The apostles, the disciples. Yahweh Shai, take them as an example who have suffered affliction and of patience. So we got to we got to exhibit those same characteristics, man, the same uh, same traits. All right. Yahweh is long suffering. Yahweh Shai was long suffering. We have to also be long suffering, man. OK. And, and with that long suffering, knowing that the Lord is not going to give you more than you can handle. He's not going to. You might think that it's more, it's more, but then that's why the Lord said, what? In, in your weakness, I am made strong. Because at that point, you're going to realize, like, you know what? I just got to put my faith in Yahweh Bashi, Yahweh Shai. Because I can't trust on my, own, on my own strength. I can't trust on my own arm. So, really, all I could do is just pray to the Heavenly Father through His Son and just let Him have me. And that's, where you, that's when the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, in the name of Yahweh Shai, that's when he manifests his power, man. That's when he gets down. When 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 our people, when Israel calls upon him, knowing that he's our only deliverer, that's when he comes and flexes. And that's what we want, man. That's what we want for the Lord to do is come and flex, you know, for our for us, man, and to show his power. So it says, verse eleven, behold, we count them happy which endure. Ye have ye have heard of the patience of Job and have seen the end of the Lord, that the Lord is very pitiful and of tender mercy okay so like i mentioned you know uh job earlier that those are our, those are examples and we count them happy man all right we count paul peter peter got crucified upside down paul got his head chopped off all right the the the, the apostles the the prophets of old got uh, most of them got killed but we count them happy why because we know that their names is written man we know that they endured to the end we know that they are men of the lord so how much, you know, we trying to follow in the, that, that same path. We want to be those men coming back, you know, hope to be those men coming back. So guess what? We got to, we going to have to prove that also by way of affliction and by way of ultimate trusting in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, knowing that whatever we go through, all right, whatever trials and whatever temptations that we go through, it's not going to be more than we could bear because the Lord Yahweh is going to give us a way 
to, to, to come out of that, man. And how many times have we been in situations where, you know, we had, we didn't think that we didn't know that we were going to be able to do something or we had no, you know, carnal uh, answer to something and we just throw up a prayer and then all of a sudden the Lord, the Lord made a way, man. All right. All of a sudden we got through that trial. All right. And then we're getting through that trial. What does that do? All right. That also, that gives us experience and it also boosts up our faith even more in the Lord, man. Okay. So this is what, this is what this whole thing is about. Trusting and, and having faith in the Lord. All these trials that we go through is just, is just more so to build up our faith, build up our, our trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. So I'm, um, see if I got one more ended out with this first Peter's first Peter chapter 4 verse uh, 19 it says wherefore let them that suffer according to the will of the Most High commit the keeping of their souls to him in well-doing as a faithful creator okay so let them that suffer who's that the followers of Hamashiach Okay, according to the will of the Most High, because it is according to the will that we must suffer for the name. Okay, that tells you that in First Peter's, you know, uh, for the fourth chapter actually, but uh, thir the thirteenth verse. All right, it says, but rejoice in as much as ye are partakers of Hamashiach's suffering, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. All right, that's the thirteenth verse. So this is what we're supposed to do. All right, and it's, I'm gonna go back to nineteen. Wherefore, let him that suffer according to the will of, most, the, of the Most High commit the keeping of their souls to him. Who's that him? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And well doing. All right? And doing well. Keeping doing the works. This is this is a well doing thing, man. All right? Going through these sufferings, but but still striving, still pushing, still going, still edifying. This is a well. This is pleasing in the Most High sight, man. All right? This is who the Lord is going to look upon and say, well done, my good and faithful, uh, faithful servant. Why? Because we know that he was faithful unto us, so we remain faithful unto him. So with that, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and Shalom.